How closely have you been following the topic of robotics? Ugh, you know what? I'm tired of hearing about AI. Can we please talk about something else? No, no, no. Uh, this is gonna be good. I promise. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, I, I saw that video from Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Tesla bot. Uh, what are they called? Optimus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they had one of those perform a quick little uh, jog across the floor. I guess it was kind of cute. Well, I hope you're wearing a diaper. <laughs> what? Because what I'm about to tell you just might make you shit your pants. No, I'm good. What you got? Okay. Well, how does the world's first autonomous battery swapping robot sound? A robot that swaps its own battery? That's right. Allowing for 24-7 uninterrupted operations, fully autonomous. Sounds efficient. Is that a real thing? Better believe it. The model is called Walker S2 and it's from a company called UB Tech. Hmm. Let me guess. Chinese? Mm -hmm. So they've done a little demonstration or something because you know how tech companies nowadays love to overpromise on their tech. Oh, they're far past that. Um, they've recently made their first mass delivery, uh, which is actually the world's first, I might add. Mass delivery, huh? So uh, how many are we talking about exactly? Well, they said several hundred, uh, which I'm assuming is around three or four hundred. And, um, and I believe that this first batch of deployment is being done over the course of a few phases. But keep in mind that this is only their first delivery. Uh, they've announced a goal of 500 units annually. But I'm very certain that they'll be scaling that up very quickly over time. Hmm. And I'm assuming those are going into factories mostly. I think some of them are being used as tour guides. <laughs> but yes, mostly factories for now. But once they collect enough data to further train these robots, there's absolutely no reason for them not to end up in people's homes. Did you say this is the world's first? Because I find that kind of hard to believe. I think I remember hearing about places like Amazon that already have over a million robots working in their warehouses. Uh, right, so the company is being very specific with their world's first claim. Um, and it basically comes down to this. Fully functional, ready to go out of the box, uh, full-sized, bipedal, humanoid robots that are capable of swapping their own batteries. You see, the so-called robots that have been in production in factories are mostly like robotic arms, you know, that are very, very task specific and um, that are very restricted in where and how they operate. Whereas these can, I don't know, give you a rundown of your schedule for the day, uh, fetch you a cup of coffee and a bagel from the break room, and stop by the first floor and pick up your 25 kilogram package box for you and head straight back to the assembly line and assemble cars. Wow. All without ever getting hungry or tired and never complaining or going on strike. Precisely. Um, about that thing you mentioned a moment ago about uh, these robots ending up in people's homes. Isn't there a company that's already on track for that? Oh, you're talking about 1X? I don't know the name. I think it is. Uh, I think they're calling it Neo or something. Um, they're designed to do chores around the house. Uh, actually, did you hear how these robots will initially operate? Uh, how will they initially operate? Remotely. You mean by a person? Yeah. You mean the user has to remote control it? No, I mean, uh, they will be controlled remotely by someone else. Uh, I'm assuming by one of the engineers working for 1X. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that these robots currently aren't even good enough to operate on their own? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, just during the initial phase though, um, just like how AI chatbots need to be trained with large amounts of language data, these robots basically need <laughs> hands-on experience. <laughs> So they're essentially charging people to have unfinished products roaming around inside their homes going through their stuff. I 
guess you could say that. I don't see how they'll ever get anyone to sign up for this. Well, it certainly won't be the average people who get in on this initial phase. I mean, there are even people calling the whole thing a scam. But uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> wow. And meanwhile, China is already deploying hundreds of fully functional robots. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy how fast things are moving along. Oh, speaking of things moving along too fast, ha have you seen these new images made by AI? Oh, yeah. Uh, Nano Banana. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's so freaky. <sighs> I swear they have to regulate this. It, it's getting out of hand. I agree. Um, actually, I think there are a few states in the U.S. that are pushing for a bill to require digital watermarks for all AI-generated content. That's like the bare minimum, isn't it? Yeah, but you know how people are. Uh, oh, this is a violation of the First Amendment free speech. <laughs> what a load of crap. Even if that were true, the risks that come along with it are obviously far too dangerous. Couldn't agree more. Uh, but until that can happen, I feel like there's something else that's very important that people need to start doing right now. Yeah? Like what? You need to come up with a kind of verification protocol between you, your friends, and your family. Because we cannot trust faces and voices anymore. So you should have some sort of um, uh, a passphrase yeah. that only you and your loved ones know. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's very good advice. Thank you. Oh, plus, we need to start educating our folks. I feel like this part gets overlooked all the time, especially for the old folks out there. I mean, I hate to say it, but they're the prime targets. I mean, it's already gotten hard enough for young people to tell what's real and what's fake. How hard do you think it would be for them? Well, that never even crossed my mind. Uh, I think I'm going to call my mom. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, mom? Is that you, Luke? Hey, it's, it's me. Uh, I, I just... Oh, wait a second here. Let me just make sure I'm not talking to AI. Okay. What's my birthday? Uh... <clears throat> Stupid AI chatbot calling me on my phone now. What'd she say? Uh, she had to go. 